hello, hello everybody. This is Sheldon from Show Rock Art. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to be doing another cloud pour today, a cloud straight pour. And um, it's, it's a nice piece. Um, I'm going to show you the dry results. And I like the way I layered it. It's a, I did one earlier. I called it Copper Mine. And I used the same colors, but this time it turned out the way I expected it to the first time. So the first time I tried it, some of the colors didn't show up and looked more earthy, but I kept it. So I labeled, named that one Copper Mine. But now this one came out to the way I look, the way I wanted it to look, because I was pattern, I was copying the color palette from this tie, this necktie I have. So here's the piece right here. And so a lot more of those colors really showed up on this piece, especially this area right here. I like the um, Capri area. And it does um, shift to a gold and a green, uh, depending on how the light hits it. But um, there's the piece right there. Look at some of the details I like in it, especially these little football-shaped areas that was created from the cloud mix. And I like the flow of this movement in here too, how it just kind of floats like a curl, like a wave curl, kind of just moves in this way. So let's get over to the um, table and I'll show you how I developed this piece. I haven't come up with a name for it yet, but I will come up with, a, with one soon. Sorry about me mumbling, but let's get over to the table. So let me go over my colors with you. I can't quite remember all the colors. I may do a voiceover with the colors, but bear with me. Um, this is, Orange Crush color art, but it's mixed with um, Liquitex Cadmium Orange. That's that there. Hopefully I've got that in the camera. Okay. There's my consistency. It's nice and thick. Okay. It's about a three second trace. I learned a lot of this watching Willie B from Willie B Studios. So I'm going to give her a shout out. Shameless shout outs. That's what we do. Um, this one is a mixture of primary yellow from Self Made Creative. It's a brand that my wife had bought me uh, a couple years back. And um, they're out there. And a little bit of deco art, 24 karat gold. Okay, I'm putting them to the side while I go through. This is alizarin crimson mixed with, uh, alizarin crimson is from Liquitex and this is mixed with um, Amsterdam copper. Okay, what else is there? Okay, this is um, dioxazine purple but it has a little bit of, um, uh, it's a pigment that I used. I'm trying to remember what it was, but it gave me a more of a violet, a red violet look to it so that it just reddened it up. Okay. I'm just trying to remember which one it was. I may have to go through the uh, video that I used previously to remember which color it was. Okay. But. That's very beautiful. It could have been African violet. I stirred into it. I'm not sure. But you always got to make sure it's stirred up really well. Because if not, you have these little lumps of paint that end up in your colors. And it's not smooth. So make sure it's nice and stirred up. Okay? All right. That's good. Um, before I go through my cloud mix, this is a pigment um, called Dynamic Fury. It has a coppery um, shimmer to it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's like it's a chameleon color. And it shines this little coppery color on the edge where it dried. And it shifts to like a green into a gold, or a gold into a green. 
that's going in the bottom of my cup. And also I have for my cloud mix, I have Artist Loft um, Soft Body White with a little bit of satin enamel, um, Vallejo Pearl Medium, and Floetrol. But I didn't stretch this out to the point that I'm not sure how much Vallejo Pearl Medium is still in there. It's probably mostly just the Soft Body White and the Floetrol and a little bit of the satin enamels. You don't really need a whole lot of that. Most times I can just do it with um, the soft body white. Anyway, but that's it right there. Okay. So let's layer our coat. And last but not least, I got a black from Blick Acrylics that I'm gonna be using as well. Okay. So let's go with the pour. So first I'm going to Lay down this uh, Dynamic Fury to get a good amount of that in there toward the bottom of the cup. You know how it spills out the bottom of the cup. You want to make sure you got enough to make it be a nice star to show. Okay. Then to give that a backdrop, I will go with this black. Good. A little bit more. Okay. Then we'll go with the uh, the violet. Then some cloud mixture. I'm trying to remember where I am so I can make sure I'm in camera. So we'll get some of that cloud mixture in there. Good amount. Okay. I'll sandwich that with the uh, red copper. The Elezarin Crimson and the Copper Mix. Good. Okay. Then I'll go back with some uh, some of the Violet. Some of the Orange. yellow and I'll get back to some of that uh, crimson again and then I'll finish it off with the black I don't I didn't want to put the black next to yellow because you know how it always tends to turn green okay so there's the black to finish it off. Okay, good. Put a little bit of black there on the bottom as a base. I don't want to use a ball of it because I might use it on a pour I might do tomorrow. Okay, so let me set my cup down. There's how my cup looks. I'm going to set it down. And I'm going to use, uh-oh. Am I breaking it out? Oh, this was an old, by the way, this is an old pearl pour that, um, well, the colors were too thin. So I'm repurposing the canvas. Uh oh, who do I have out, y'all? Handy dandy. Why? Because he's handy and he's dandy. So yeah, if you guys missed him, he's back in action. As you see here. Okay, so I'm just gonna spread that around. No need to uh, be overly concerned about that. 
Let's get some coverage on those corners. So when I tilt it, move it around, I'll be fine. Okay, good. Let me set you aside. Pop some bubbles with the torch. I'm not used to this torch. You gotta hold it a little bit closer. I get a little bit concerned if I hold it too close. I'm gonna squish my paint. But this got a short flame on it. So, but I'm gonna pop the bubbles nonetheless. Okay, good. Maybe I need to turn the flame up. Can I do that? Maybe a button to put it on. No, it's on high. All right, that was it. Okay. Now that. This thing set for a little bit. Let's go with the pour. Uh, I guess I'll go off of the side. Go up high. So I guess I'm churning up down in there with the yellow. Come back down. Yeah. Is that copper? Been good. Mm -hmm. Turn around this way. Okay, that's a little bit more colorful than the last time I did it. There we go. Right here comes that dynamic fury. Okay, I caught the splash from the dismount. Woohoo! All right. All right, so let me let that kind of develop. And because of my slow turn and my slow stirring, I don't have a lot of black spots. I'm still not going to torch it though because I think torching it is going to make it worse. I'm going to let it develop a little bit though. But I love the way that turned out. I almost don't want to tilt it. I just want to spin it right out. So I think I might just do that. Don't worry about tilting it or nothing. Just kind of Move things around, be patient. Let some of those colors kind of percolate in there. Let some of that cloud mixture puff up on those ends to make those nice colors against that dark background. I'm glad I moved the, uh, the orange and the copper, I mean, and the red a little bit different from the last one I did. 
So I layered it a little bit differently. And I think that it's um it's gonna turn out a little bit better than the other one. The other one didn't have all the nice puffy clouds around the uh the coppery um color that's gonna be the pigment for the um uh what did I say? The black diamond uh pigment. You know, so yeah, mm, that's looking good so far. I can torch the outside, but I'm not going to touch the middle because I don't want them black spots to come up on my clouds. But I can touch the torch the outside. Maybe it'll wake up some uh, some pop up cells from the. Uh, yellow from the depot so I'll do that but yeah those uh clouds are really um puffing up nice and it gives that black gives a nice contrast in there so, I guess now that um, it's developed mostly, I'm going to get a skewer and pop that bubble. I don't want to torch it. Oh, there it goes. this puppy out all right I'm not ashamed I'm gonna spin it all right good sometimes all I need is the air that I breathe and to love me. All right. It's all going to come off. What I want to come off will come off. This is giving me more of the feel of that tie now. Now that I moved the orange and the violet. This is definitely giving me more of the feel of that tie. I need to cut, get some of this off of this end here. But do I tilt it? No, I'm gonna spin it some more. Yeah, it's coming off. I had a lot of paint on the canvas. going to spin it anymore I think this is where I want to be so let me get you down for a closer look in a few minutes okay all right I'll see you in a few okay folks there you have it um, this is the final wet result look at those nice effects of that cloud mix those little puffy areas there my dismount was incredible that's going to become a nice coppery color once it dries look at those purples those translucent colors there look at that Ooh la la I have one black, a few black spots here, but not as much as I had before because I learned not to whip my paint. 
but to slowly stir it. Just take your time with it and slowly stir it until it comes up to the way you like it. But there you have it, folks. Oh, I love this color. Thank you for watching. This is Shoulder from Show Rock Art. And again, I say happy pouring and goodbye. Oh,